guys, it's Casey. Welcome back to my channel. If you like this content, please like and subscribe below. So I haven't done a video in a while. I'm sorry. I have been having a lot of life changes, positive things, um, moving, starting a new job, all that stuff. Um, but I thought I'd come on and give you guys like a little, uh, quick, uh, update. So basically today I'm just having like a normal day where it's the day after I take Cumera. So if you're one of those uh, subscribers or people that watch my channel that take Humira, you might know that the day after, sometimes you'll get some side effects. And so, typically what I get for symptoms after I take Humira, um, and I've never really gone into these too, in too much depth before, is I'll get a headache at some point. Not really a bad one. Um kind of like a mild headache, little pressure on the top of my head, um, but that will make me sometimes feel kind of nauseous too, just randomly. Usually it happens about, usually about 24 hours after I take it. I'll notice, I'm like, wow, I feel a little nauseous right now. Um, and then I'm like, oh yeah, I took the Humira yesterday. Um, so I'm having that today. Um, they said to really take to focus on hydration. Um, this was like my Humira nurse that I talked to from the drug company. Um, and so I always try to drink a lot the day before and be hydrated. And I usually drink smart water because it has electrolytes in it. Um, and so I'll usually typically just have regular spring water, but um, I like to have a couple or I'll grab some at the gas station just on that day. So like today I drank like a huge smart water and try to stay hydrated. I still feel like I get the headache, but some of the other symptoms are usually better if I'm hydrated. Like I don't feel as, um, fatigued. And sometimes the day after I'll feel a little bit like slow moving, like I kind of got a little bit hit by a truck or like I'm about to almost get a fever, but I don't have a fever. Um... And I noticed that the hydration really helps with that. So I would definitely recommend hydrating the day before and the day of the Humira injection. Other than that, I'm pretty good. So I have just the tiniest sore spot where I injected yesterday. I don't... I. I no longer get like a big rash thing. I had that temporarily like a long time ago. Um, it literally will just be just like a little spot that's like a little sore if you touch it. I did have a few months ago kind of like a weird injection where like it shot in a strange way through my leg. I don't know if the muscle or the fat or whatever it was. Um, and it went down like a couple inches and it hurt. And then I could feel, um, like it just didn't feel quite right. Like it injected fine. It was in my body. Um, but it just didn't do what it normally does. And, um, it actually ended up getting like a bruise. It was really random, but I think sometimes that just happens. Maybe the the injector didn't go deep enough or just the way that I was holding um my spat or whatever it just pushed it a strange way so sometimes it happens it was no big deal I didn't have to really do anything about it otherwise I was like oh got a bruise um not too big of a deal so that's how I'm feeling today after the Humira Put a comment below, what are your symptoms when you're um, taking Humira day after, like any ongoing symptoms, I'd like to know. Um, I do have one other symptom that is kind of random and I didn't realize it could be, and that is my gums bleed easily when I'm like brushing my teeth or flossing. And apparently, my dentist said a lot of medications have just, like, random gum things. Um, and so, I don't bleed easy. Like, my skin, I don't have a problem clotting or anything like that. And when it bleeds in my gums, 
it clots really fast. Um, it's just like, for some reason it bleeds and I fl floss my teeth every single day and my gums are super healthy. My gum score is healthy. It just, for some reason, bleeds a little bit more easily. Um, and so sometimes a couple of days after the injection, I will notice when I floss that it bleeds a little bit more. So like this morning, for example, um, I brushed my teeth and then like one spot in the back started bleeding for no reason. <laughs> um, I do have an electric toothbrush. So that wasn't even flossing. That was just like brushed it. And um, so that sometimes happens. It's nothing major. I do let my dentist know about it because when they're doing stuff in there, whatever, it can be more, um, more blood. And I did that video about panicking at the dentist and they gave me the Novocaine with the, um, it's like, a I forget what it was. It makes your blood pressure and your heart rate go faster. It's like an adrenaline thing, but apparently it's helps with bleeding but I couldn't really do that next time because I freaked out so I'm not sure what they'll do maybe just deal with it hopefully because I don't want to be panicking again in the dentist but eh. <laughs> um if I'm prepared for it I could take something to relax I do have some anxiety medication I could take if I need to have it if the bleeding is going to be in the way but I'm not sure so that's pretty much all the side effects that I have today. And otherwise, I feel fine and had a good day. I actually feel better than I did yesterday, today, even taking the Humira because my time of the month started over on Saturday. No, yeah, Saturday. And it was a rough one. So the Humira didn't make me feel as bad as my menstrual cycle. So. That's good news. I take the Humera hangover any day over PMS. So, um, again, if you have any comments for me, you have questions about the Humera, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nurse, but any kind of just wondering my experience, feel free to put those down in the comments below and make a comment about what kind of symptoms you have. I'm interested to know. Share your experiences with me. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.